Friends, in this video, we are going to see how to put the trailing haptic of the intraocular lens into the capsular bag. After cortical cleanup, visco is injected into the anterior chamber and into the capsular bag. And now here goes the intraocular lens. This is the leading haptic going into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is placed over the iris. Now the Sinski hook goes through the side port. The trailing haptic is pulled towards the center and then pushed backward. That is towards the posterior capsule and the haptic goes into the capsular bag. Now the lens is oriented in such a way that the haptics are about 90 degree away from the main incision. Let us observe these in slow motion. Cortical cleanup has been done and now viscoelastic substance 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose or any other viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber and the capsular bag is inflated with this viscoelastic substance. Now the lens is in the cartridge. The chopper goes, pulls the eyeball and the intraocular lens is injected into the anterior chamber. The leading haptic goes into the anterior chamber. This is 2.2 cartridge of about medical optics. The leading haptic has gone into the bag but the trailing haptic is placed over the iris. Now take a Sinski hook go through the right side port. And now there's a gap in the haptic. Pull the haptic towards the center of the anterior chamber and depress it backward so that it goes into the anterior chamber. Thus, you can put the haptics into the capsular bag. And now you can, if you can retract the rexis margin, definitely it is in the capsular bag. Thus, you can put both the haptics in the capsular bag. If the leading haptic is not in the bag, you can put it in the same way. Thank you very much. Hope this will help you in your practice.